everyone. Uh, here is another episode of what's on my desk and as you can see I've been making samples. So today is sample, sample, samples and I thought I'd share them with you. Uh, somebody said I wish I could see all your samples and I thought why not? Let's see if I can show some of them. So the first one I have here is this Sizzix set right here. It's these dies, this embossing folder, and these four dies. Now this die was originally stuck inside the embossing folder in here. I'm trying to do this with one hand today, so just bear with me. It was originally stuck in, I believe, here. I pried it off because I wanted to do different things with it, and it's okay to do that. I didn't regret doing that one bit. But I wanna show you all the different things that you can do with this Sizzix die. Oh, and before I forget, let me tell you that this is on Dutch Paper Crafts 3. It's number 663212. So you can look it up. As you know, on Dutch Paper Crafts, things are, prices drop a lot. Uh, inventory comes and goes. I'm actually surprised I still have some of these left. So if you can take the, the, the die and pop it back in like it was, and it will cut and emboss. So it'll cut out this happy birthday and all these little dots. And then you can you can take like these dots right here, stamp, there's all the rage uh, about a year or two ago was circle stamps, little circle stamps. You could stamp something in there or you could use the little dies that come in the set, balloon, streamer, to you, happy birthday to you. Um, I did that over here. You can see this is also embossed. It's a little difficult to see this um, but I'll hold it up so you can see on the glitter paper. Oh, people have been asking, what's my glitter paper? What paper am I using with glitter paper? It is Crafter's Companion. I have some on Dutch Paper Crafts 3. Inquire what colors you're looking for. I may have some that I haven't put up for sale yet. I may have some in my own personal stash that I can spare. I love glitter paper. So again, you can see how that cut out. Here you can see how you can cut out just the happy um, birthday and add that with a white background that circle cuts out the white background or you don't even have to have this happy birthday you can make it another theme have the pink in there could be a little baby theme or whatever and then the white one i definitely thought look kind we could do christmasy with that so here's some blues you can kind of remove this there's the little white and the gold i did and if we remove all this let me just put this aside here this is a nice, um, just a nice white, looks like snow embossing folder. So for a good price point, you can make a lot of different dies. You can make your happy birthday. You can cut it separate. You can cut it into the paper. You can add layer inside. There's circles. There's a big circle right here for the background to go tuck behind the happy birthday if you want. So I, I just think it's, it's a pretty cool set and I think people weren't sh quite sure what it did. So there's kind of a look at that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna come up is the Memory Box um, Ruffle Poinsettia die. This is number 94296. It is uh, a Memory Box die and I also used in the sample a Karen Berniston Circles Crosshatch die, number 1057. I believe this is a $16 die. I believe this is $16.25. This is, you can see these crosshatch circles that um, instead of a regular circle, you, you can cut out plain circles here. There's plain, but you also can use this crosshatch inside of it, which is just really pretty. And I'll show you in these samples I made. So I took this ruffle points out and I cut it out of several colors. And this one is the pearlescent white. You can see this is like a pearlescent silver a white and then this is red glitter and green glitter paper so I, I cut out samples on all different colors and I was going to make these into tags and punch a hole and then I said oh rather than make tag samples I think I'll leave it in case people want to make card fronts with them this one I made with um, green glitter and my glitter paper is mostly from Crafters Companion. I really like their glitter paper. It doesn't fleck off. It's a nice quality cardstock. This is gold foil with white and the white is just plain matte paper and the gold foil and you can see the crosshatch in the, the background. Just a little added effect. 
This was my husband's favorite, just traditional red and green, shiny, um, with a gold outline on the white crosshatch. So I just uh, cut out one in gold, and the inside of the gold, you can see, went onto this piece. I cut some out in green, and I cut some out in red. Now, you can see the crosshatch there. You can see I used the green leftover silver here with the glitter and the red. So this is glitter cardstock. It kind of looks burnished, isn't that pretty? Um, with the metallic on the outside and the glitter on the inside. Just a really nice, nice die. Um, I think a lot of people are gonna want this. I don't think they, I only know one customer ordered this last time. So she's probably sitting there going, oh, I got this, I can do this. Okay, sorry, my, my sample got a little messed up here. This one I have already sent out. This is my last sample I have left of this. I wanted to pull it for this video, but everybody who's getting this sample is ordering it. Um, I, only, I made a few of these. Um, I really love this. I think this would be a pretty for a, a Christmas card. So I'm gonna get in and you can kind of see. These are all either memory box, I think there's one poppy die. So I can come down here and show you what I use. Um, I use the tree line with $6.25. It's That's this one. I cut out two, one in white, one in green. Put it behind some snow that uh, drifts that I probably just cut out. Snowy circle, which is $11.25. That's these holes right here in the background I put. And so you can see on the back how um, those holes cut out and I just put it in the back of that uh, horse-drawn carriage. And then the sleigh horse frame is a $22 die. That's all the frame, the circle, this outer line. Uh, that's that whole set and that's a beautiful set. Um, really it is. And what I did is I cut it out in white and I colored the black with a Sharpie when I layered it on. So it was really simple, quick, fast to make. And I was really pleased with how this sample turned out. I think that would make an, a nice Christmas card. And then if we go back to, you know, that, that embossing folder we were looking at on Sizzix there, we, this would look really nice in there if we put this sample right in there and the white on white with that looks like snowfall. Just a thought, you know, it just, it just kind of was thinking about it. This is a Sue Wilson sample. It's a $4 die. It says Christmas Wishes very pretty i love that script this is another sue wilson die um let's see here what i've got this is called stardust background ced 3190 it's a 24 dollar die but it's big i mean this is the size of my hand so this is a big die have santa lost in a swirling snowstorm or an angel lots of things you could put back there and it just uh, also this could be halloween do this on a black background like a hocus pocus thing or just anything it doesn't have to be christmas but i definitely can see the snow okay this is right here this was done this was a just a little i wanted to show the heartfelt creations when you use the flower molds they really do make nice stiff flowers that hold up well and with this one i use the perfect posy stamp set 16 dollars the Perfect Posies die set, $24. I use the Perfect Posies shaping mold, um, which is $24. And I use that Deluxe Flower Shaping Paper. Price is $24. This paper is really nice. This is what I use to make this. And it is very sturdy. This is I made these samples quite a while ago. This holds up nicer than um, even... Even my solar Nina Solar Crust paper that I tend to use for everything, I do believe that the um, Heartfelt Creations pa paper is, is good. Um, the Heartfelt Creations, I believe the paper is on Dutch Paper Crafts 3, and the other stuff I could order for you, of course. Uh, if there's none left on Dutch Paper Crafts 3 when you see this video, um, email me. I might be able to still get you some. Um, and all my information is on my blogs, dutchpapercrafts.blogspot.com, where there's all pre-orders or dutchpapercrafts3, the number 3, dot blogspot.com. Uh, those are things I have in stock and ready to go. So these, I made a few of these, Halloween's coming up, which is in um, Christmas trees, and I kind of put them on this piece of silver paper. So these are on Dutch Paper Crafts 3, these bare trees. 
and I love this little witch with the cat. Look at the detail in that. These are, I can show you right here, Penny Black um, Fancy Dyes right here. So those are, I think they call those winter trees. And this is just the witch with the on the broomstick with the little cat. And then we could go over here and grab, um, back over here and where we were doing this and grab one of these circles. I'm just kind of thinking. And we can put that in between down there, that little piece off. So you could have, take the witch away and now you could have a really, really nice winter card, simple, and that's that's beautiful. Or you can move the moon right there and put the witch kind of on the moon. There, pretty neat. Um, lots of things you can do with these dies. So everybody, that's what's on my desk right now. Uh, some of these samples will be coming out to lucky customers who place an order. All right. I hope you are all well enjoying here in the in the states we're coming into we're in fall coming into the cool weather my Australian friends you are probably coming into your spring so um everybody hey go craft something bye bye